All right. Hello there. I am Pup01. This is AOS Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 Show AA. We're getting ready to do the final fifth spot chance qualifier for the MMA division. I know I should have been did that, but I was taking care of other stuff with the game. I was figuring out Yokozuna, and he is way better now. I'm trying to decide if he's going to be in the absolute division, special five chance qualifier, or back in the MMA division. He could possibly be in the grappling because after I figure out how to make his AI says better, he was able to submit Volkan, who's the champion, in another title match, you know, just an exhibition match or practice match or whatever. But he was going to beat him after he scored 11 straight unanswered takedowns in a round. The match lasted for almost nine minutes. It was just under nine minutes, I believe. Yeah, so that's what I was able to do with him to help improve his stuff. He lost to um, Kyoji and that untitled title match rules or whatever like that. But, you know, he dominated pretty much the whole entire first round and stuff like that. So, that's what I'm thinking about. Posse put me either grappling or absolute. And I'm thinking absolute is what he's going to be in come the next show 10. Yeah. Put him in that instead. Anyway, you're finna see your first time watching Jake Shot in action. So let's make sure his stuff is on here. First thing we gotta do. Oh wait, I put it on here to make sure this stuff is sorted. Alright, everything looks correct. After this, we can move on to the MA. I mean, we could move on to the absolute divisions for Spot Chase Qualifier. Anyway, this is the third one. And let's go up here. Make sure that's on. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to be going on here to check this. Yeah, so those are the rules for the very last time for this division. Let's show you them once again in English. Right here. These are the fist by chance qualifier rules for the MMA division. Here they are in English. As you know, five minutes, five points, one point for knockdowns. It's only one round. Blood is um, blood stoppage and then give up. Time decision and bell save are all turned on with takedowns being free and rope escapes and quick match are both turned off. Do this one more time. All right. Damn it. I press start. Let's go press A. Now. Now, um, Jake Shock was the character I was thinking about having as either this or grappling. You know, the same as speed. I mean, speed or the two of the doer um, grapplers I made who would do very well with the grappling division. Long as same thing goes for um, what's his name, King or whatever. I mean, Lion. God damn it. He, his move says. Somewhat like um King from from Technic or whatever like that that um character the wrestler from off of Technic. Push 
down, but no problem. Striking cap makes it by Kalasawa. Knocks it down with repeated um, backhand, spinning backhand. Yeah, that's what we we'll call that. Some clicks, knees to the body by Kalasawa. Decent match so far. I believe Kasawa has the lead for the most part. Big shock with his strike combination. And mostly leads to the gut that he finishes it off with a uh, lead hook to the head. Kasawa with his own strike combination. Again, some shots of the body. The fire one is counter into a body shot that puts him down for Jake Shock's first knockdown. Now, Kasawa then have to get knocked down his own to tie this up because if we're losing, if it goes time to the one with the most points wins. Jake Shock with the double leg takedown he gets knocked off. Brain Buster by Jake Shock. Picks him back up. Double leg is blocked. Counter arm bar by Jake Shock. Tie up into some more strikes by Kasawa. Leg. Leg submission counter by Jake Shock. Coming up. It's gonna be a little bit a little bit more than two minutes left. Take down to some ground and pound from the full mouth position he gets knocked out by Jake Shock. That stunned Kasawa. Jake Shock puts a double leg takedown going to full mouth and immediately goes for the arm bar. Trying to wear down the arm. The counter arm bar, reverse arm bar, I should say, by Jake Shock. Jumping back kick by Jake Shock. Low speed misses at the end. Jake Shock with another brain buster. This time it does the KO damage. Now, the, for whatever reason, the regular Brain Buster on the game does not do KO damage by Nate, so that his, for the very least, does Brain Buster damage. You know, if I could think that's one of the only um, suplexes he has on there. Because, like, you know, with your shoot style, you can only have four strong grapples, as well as your finisher and stuff like that. Yeah. There are fun grapples. I'm barring his own by Kasawa. He's going to need to get some knockdowns or get his special before he can get the submission finished because he needs some knockdowns. If you don't get those knockdowns, it's all over for him. Another brain buster attempt by Jake Shock and it lands. This time he didn't get the KO damage, so he goes straight into an arm bar, working on arm some more. When you're going for submissions, submissions you, you need to have some grapples when you go for submissions, in my opinion. Or you need to hit the double leg in the center of the ring to keep them from trying to get to the ropes. But that's basically for grappling matches. In the um, MMA rules, there's no rope escape, so you can put those submissions on them wherever you want to. But as far as like the um, if the as far as the grapple, I mean, my bad, damn. I can't even speak correctly. Not brain buster. What I was trying to say, as far as like the um the grappling and the PW, which have rope escape and rope break, you should want to hit them with like a slam or hit that double leg to full mount in the middle of the ring. All right. 
Congrats to Jake Shock. He wins this match. He can just skip it. He just go get in the ring and do his talk. You know, he wins by two knockdowns. Two knockdowns. Moving on to the next one. We got Mr. G taking on um, Takeda. Takeda is going to have the advantage with those knockdowns in this match. He's able to hit one. And the winner of this is going to have to go against um, Yoshiki to see who will take on Jake Shock in the finals of this third fist by chest cross for the Omega edition. I thought about just changing the name to this qualifier, but that's what I was thinking about just saying instead of just fist by chance qualifier. It sounds even a, a tiny bit of confusing to me when I say fist by chance qualifier, then I say fist by chance right after I'm just going to say qualifier, you know. But it's still going to come up as fist by chance qualifier. Oh, the head of it. First knockdown already, man. I think that just sealed the deal. I don't think Mr. G has too many moves that can help him do knockdown damage. I'm pretty sure he probably has a grapple or two that can do knockdown damage. His finisher, which is the, um, I believe it's the Samoan driver, that does knockdown damage. You know? Or KO damage, I should say. My bad. Another roundhouse head kick. That time he just knocked it down. Spin it back kick to the body that hit that gets a knockdown. One, two, three. He already got two knockdowns. This is good for him, man. You know? If he can dominate this, he can probably dominate the next match as well, and then he can be in the finals. But the thing is, it's not going to be that easy against Yoshiki because Yoshiki is going to be able to do some stuff because Yoshiki, even though he got that spinning back hit, he still got that overhand right that he throws that does KO damage. And also, he has that roundhouse head kick that does KO damage. Mr. G is trying to keep up again to his special meter or super meter, whichever way you want to call it. Kind of fallen arm breaker by Mr. G. And he goes for a running clothesline that just counter to a reverse arm bar. Neck breaker by Mr. G. Strike lands twice. And stand the clothesline. Back kick by K Walk. I mean, my bad, by Takeda. Slap to the face by Mr. G. Can't you see this? Counter it to a leg submission. Then it toes line gets countered to a reverse arm bar. Then it toes line gets countered into another reverse arm bar. You gotta stop doing that, man. You gotta stop using that. And it's being submitted. I know his arm is not perfect to the point of being submitted, but like he could definitely get submitted right here, right now. Now, now the submission. He's go, he can still get submitted if he keep on using that standing, you know, close line, or he keep on getting caught. Well, he can still use those moves, but he gotta stop getting caught while performing them. Like, yeah, that's the perfect time to use that is when you know he's going to try to shoot in for a double leg. When you try to shoot in for a double leg, that's the best time to try to strike the opponent when he tries to shoot in for the double leg. 
because they have no way to protect themselves when they shoot in for the double leg and stuff. So basically the best time to do that. But when they go for the regular little grapple or tie up, you can that can basically sometimes get there before your strike gets to them because that's the quickest grapple or the quickest way to do a tie up on this game is the one that the shoot wrestlers use. That's the quickest tie up because they only got one tie up one and then the other one is a shoot double leg takedown. So. He's doing well. He's definitely going to win this match. Uh, it's just a question if he can get more knockdowns or if he can get the submission finish. That's the only thing that's going on with this. Low blow <laughs> by Mr. G. He's still trying. You know? Gotta give him that. He's still trying. This, this match is basically over with. Yeah, man. I got to create some more characters, man. Because that's the only thing that still bothers me about this is that... I try to have enough people for qualifiers for the other division, but sometimes I end up putting people who don't have no reason to be in MMA or anything else, you know? I'm thinking now that Mr. G could have been the freaking grappling, along with, you know, Tim Ryu and, um, what's the other dude now? Uh, Shimi? Yeah, those guys could have been a part of that. I mean, Bruiser Brody could be in the grappling as well, but the reason that it was okay for him to be in the MMA fist spot challenge qualifier is because he does that running double knee drop that does KO damage and he does blood damage. You know, I'm not too sure about his, you know, submission skills and stuff like that, but I know that he can, you know, get some knockdowns knockdown points with the running knee drop, you know, for the most part. Look at that. This could be it right here. No, he was, he was still moving towards the ropes. When they can't move at all towards the ropes, that's when you know that like, the submission is like, basically going to end them. Roundhouse head kicks, man. That's how the match ends. And he goes for another Leg lock submission. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to have Takeda taking on Yoshiki. Let's see who's going to meet. Um, Jake shot in the finals. I thought about putting Yoshiki right into the um fist by chance match, but then I was like, I'm not doing that for nobody as of yet, you know. I can just take on one of those two from that match or whatever like that. Yeah, because there's only so many characters on here who has good striking that can do, not just striking, I mean, but got good enough moves that do takedown, I mean, knockdown damage, as well as strikes that do knockdown damage, because, you know, you could go a whole entire match and just keep on getting countered every time you try to go for a tie-up, you know, and never hit any of your takedown moves or whatever like that with your grapples that do KO damage. But the strikes are the quickest way to get a knockdown. You know, you know, get the knockdown damage. Because even if they don't work, you know, you still can push the opponent back. Even if the, you use a grapple that does knockdown damage, even if it doesn't work, you still put your opponent down on the mat and like, they may take a little bit longer to get up. Especially when you go for those strong back grapple suplexes and stuff like that. Those keep your opponent down for a while, even if they don't work. Especially at the start of a match. You know? Spinning leg submission. By Yoshiki. And he, and that knockdown did come with the overhand right. He's 
head kicks are landed, man. He is not blocking those. And he finishes the off a spinning back kick to the body. Everybody's doing a little bit of taunting now. Takeda don't need a knockdown if he can't get this submission. Victory to try to tie it up, as you already know. Yeah, so like, that's why I, cause I didn't want to put it on like, you only need like three knockdowns for, cause I want the rule to be the same thing throughout everything from qualifier to fist by chance to ranking match and you know, all contenders match to title match. And I thought three would be like a little too light to have like. You should be able to get three. If somebody could get five knockdowns in a single round in, you know, the KO division, even though they got the quick match rule, but they only got three minutes per round to try to get those knockdowns and stuff. You know? Somebody should be able to get five knockdowns, which is one knockdown per minute, especially if you're a striker. You're a good striker, you know? And freaking Yoshiki has hit that overhand right with two knockdowns now. Give him a two-point lead. You don't gotta hit all of them, you just gotta hit enough to get you the you know the the, the time decision when should it go the distance. And it's a good possibility because as you know this is just a Qualifier and qualifiers are only one five minute round. I think he needs to go for that spinning back kick to the body, man. Like, if he gets time that perfectly when he goes for that overhand or that roundhouse kick, he should get the he should get his first knockdown. I haven't seen him really go for that. Bring it back kick to the bottom. At this rate, he's going to end up losing this match. Because he got less than two minutes to go. Or... Because the thing is, like, only way I can see somebody win by submission in these qualifiers is if they started going, if they start countering their opponent's move that allows them to unmanly go into a submission. Like, when you count those arm strikes and leg strikes, like, with the leg, it's if you're countering it from the, um, the left leg strike. If you count a left leg strike, you usually go into the um, leg submission counter. And with the with the hand, it's usually if you um, counter in one of those strikes where it looks like they're lunging with the left or right arm. You know, they gotta be like lunging with it, like the haymaker punch, that standing clothesline, and there's a couple other ones and stuff like that. Then you go into like that reverse armbar counter. Same thing with running attacks. If you go for the kitchen sink or that running knee strike to the gut or any type of clothesline or the forearm shots, the forearm smashes, you can get that. There you go. Could come a minute too soon, you know, he get that roundhouse head kick knockdown. But he needs another one because he's still down by one knockdown. If anything, you should want to have more knockdowns than your opponent because who knows if you win the time decision. That's not going to help him. He gets knocked to the outside of the ring. It's not going to help him because that's just taking up time. Usually it takes a good 10 seconds or so to get back in the ring. So now he's coming on about half a minute left. And it's best to try to get another knockdown or two. Striking combinations, I like it in the game, but I wish there was a way to like, you know, those can somewhat do KO damage because you see how you could go for head kicks when you do the striking combinations and the spinning back kick to the body, well as a lot of other different moves 
Those should have the potential to knock you down while in the middle of doing a freaking combination. It should have to be just one of your regular strong attacks to do a knockdown. It should be almost any strike. You know? It will be cool to see somebody get knocked down with just a simple leg kick. Because you can't end fights with a leg kick in real life in the dark. You can play a fight to end it by a leg kick. That's what I like to see with that stuff. But anyway, the person who I thought was going to win that match won. Even though um, Takeda has those kicks, if he can land them, he could get some knockdowns. But he just got hit with two overhands a little too early in the match. And then Takeda, you know, couldn't even capitalize in time to try to tie up. But Yoshiki would probably have one of the time decisions because... As well as getting those two knockdowns, he did hit a few more submission moves on him. And he did hit that overhand right strike a couple of times that pushed him back as well as a counter. As in when they're both striking at the same time and stuff. Anyway, he's going to get straight shot in the finals of his last qualifier for the MMA division, the third one. I see he's going to come out on the top. Nice roundhouse kick. Roundhouse hit kick. Oh, that kick is not going to work. And he gets countered to a dragon school. Takes the back. And hits him with that German suplex. Didn't get the KO damage that time, though. Shoot double leg takedown into full mount. Now he's getting some ground pound on Yoshiki. Yoshiki is covering up decent enough. And now the arm bar wearing him down a little. That recovering spinning. Spinning um, leg trip or whatever, spinning sweep, or spinning back leg sweep. I was trying to say back leg sweep. Yeah, spinning back leg sweep. Falling on breaker, the gets. Oh, yeah. I can't remember everything, man. There's so many characters I created. I don't remember everything. I usually find out sometimes during the match if I haven't like had to like change the record in a while. But I forgot that that fall on does KO damage for him. You know, now he just does more KO damage with the falling double knee drop. I mean the running double knee drop. My bad. Roundhouse head kick. But it still is not doing the KO damage, man. I believe that, like, you should only be able to hit or get the KO damage when you hit the move with a counter. When you hit it as a counter, you should automatically be able to get the KO damage. That will help the game out a lot. You know? Even though this game is over 20 years old and it's decent for being a 20 year old game, in my opinion, and stuff like that. This team went for his double leg quicker than Jake shot, so he gets the double leg. And now he's hit some ground and pound. A lot of ground and pound. He hit him with so much ground and pound, but now he forced him to roll onto his stomach. Yeah, back control. Takes his cover loop by. Shock. I started to really realize that for a lot of characters, the Texas Cloverleaf, because even though the Walter Jericho is probably the better submission move, I like the fact that the Texas Cloverleaf, it goes after the leg and the back. It wears down the back, but it's going to submit them with the leg probably quicker, you know? So a lot of characters that tend to go for submissions to attack the back, I have them go for either the back or the, um, the Texas Cloverleaf 
or they go through the casino. So the one that's on the game. The, um, the walls, yeah, the um, walls of Jericho or the Iron Hammer, I guess you could say. But man, he dominated both of his matches so far. That's only because the other two rounds left here, but he keeps on hitting as a counter because it does not count. So, it's not for the lack of trying, man. But I don't think he has attempted the overhand right yet. You know? That's how he got his two knockdowns versus. What's the name? Versus. Um, Takeda. I believe he got at least one or two of them versus. His, Oh wait, Takeda, I forget. It was, um, what's the name he would have when it gets Mr. G? That was, um, Takeda when it gets Mr. G. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, so he did get the two knockdowns versus him, but... Eh, it wasn't a complete dominating victory. As I said before, those two roundhouse head kicks just so happened not to do KO damage, but, you know, he was able to get his moves off. A good timely fashion, and he got the armbar finish in just over three minutes at three minutes and five seconds of the first round, which is you know, because it's just a qualifier, so it's just the one round. But big props to um Jake Shock, man. He may end up winning this fifth star chance qualifier. I'm hoping he does, you know. I'm hoping he does. So we're now going to be on the final, you know, fist by chance qualifier on here. All right, all his stuff is on there. And he's going to be in the first fist by chance qualifier, which is a four man. Oh, wait. We're on the absolute divisions fist by chance qualifiers. And all their matches take place here at the Tokyo Dome with the ramp. That's my bad. Forgot that all his matches take place there at the Tokyo Dome with the ramp. So we can delete this screenshot because this is just on the gallery. So I re screenshot the um you know the match rules so I won't have to go all the way through file manager that keep on, you know, every once around every once once around <laughs> every once in a while the freaking um this app the file manager app like likes to fuck up and just send me back to the beginning so I tend to screenshot it also that that allows me not to do a lot of moving around with going to this and that for like to see the rules and stuff so anyway just looking right here right quick alright that should be simple enough to find those characters this one right here Not I guess I can go this way. I could went that way. Right here. Right here. And then the final one. Yeah, just continue on this way. Yep, that's everybody. That's correct. And we have... Well, it's not anywhere. Five minutes. That was two are turned on. This needs to be turned off. This needs to be turned off. And I believe now this does blood stoppage in this match. Yeah, because the qualifier, fist by chance, and the ranking match all have blood stoppage now. For the absolute division. Because there was only just the two divisions for MMA that were doing blood stoppage. I was like... I was going to put either with the um, double team or the PW or the absolute division. One of them, I said, could have blood stops for there'll be at least one divisional division that for the PW rules that have, you know, blood stoppage. And I was like, you know what? The absolute division could be one that has, you can win by anything, you know? Blood stoppage, KO, I mean, blood stoppage, TKO, pinfall. Or submission, you know, 
except for the number of contenders match and the uh, title match, as you already know. Same thing that goes for the KO division and the uh, MMA division. Anyway, is that everything? Five minutes? Yes, yes. No, yes. No, blood stoppers? No, yes. Yes. Alright. And that will be the next match coming up. And just to show you, like, like you see how much of the screen he takes up when I click on him. That's DD4 Blaze, who will be part of the final fifth spot chance qualifier for the MMA for the absolute division. My bad. All because of goddamn Moss, man. I mean, he could. I mean, Kyoji, Kyoji Moho could still have beat DD4 Blaze, but it doesn't help that like somebody interfering just keep on. Tripping him up and then on top of that pulled him out of the ring helped get him the victory, you know. But look how oh wait. He don't take up that much space on the screen. Well he does take up a lot of space. The screen or whatever like that. I should pull him forward. Yeah. Does it work better if I pull him forward? Yeah. So you see where his head at is nowhere near the name and then we do the same thing with him head is past where the little name tag is at by pulling him already up on the screen and stuff. Yeah, but he's 205 kilos, which means he's 251, I mean 451 pounds, and he's 235 centimeters, which is well over seven feet, you know. But he's not the tallest character, because as I said, that belongs to Crazy Fred, who's 245 centimeters tall. So that's the tallest character on here. Yeah. And on a different note, we can go on to what? Which one is that? Oh yeah, to slot four. And what we could do on slot four. Oh yeah. So. Basically, with these two characters, I basically got their moves and stuff all situated. One that I need to do now with these two characters is design their taunts. Because I think their taunts are still default taunts and stuff like that. Yeah. I think I've done nothing with their taunts yet. Yep. Still default taunts. So, like, that's something I really need to take care of with those two characters. And then their shit would be all straight. Smith and Grimm, they are still like. Or should I call him the Grimm Solace? I don't know. I don't want to call him the Solace One. That just sounds like the Solace sounds better. Solace. Because I don't get the double L or whatever. He's the same weight as, um, what's his name? Well, well, we go through, we go through the, damn, I don't want to necessarily do that stuff and then fuck up everything else. You already know, you already know how much the, you know, I'm not going to do that at all. Yeah. Let's just go in here. We're just going to go out the game because I don't want to fuck up anything. Even though we only got the one character now that's still sitting on the screen. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Yada yada and all the other good stuff. What else could we talk about? Very right, quick. Show. Sure. Oh. Damn. Alright, we're not going to talk about nothing else because Anything that has to do with any other game, you'll find out about eventually anyway, because I'll be uploading for that stuff. But I am planning on, you know, we don't have to actually go out of anything. I could just show you the game right quick. Yeah, I'll just go on here and show you the game. So, I re-downloaded, you know, for the Game Boy um, Fire Pro Wrestling 2, but I, since then, took it off. 
because I should have been doing my stuff for Fire Pro Wrestling, the first one for Game Boy Advance, because this one actually has, when you start the game, the whole entire roster. Now, we're not going to do a match or nothing because we're already at the 40 minute mark and, you know, that shit and so forth and so on. Uh, two teams of five. Oh, you could do. Oh, hell yeah. We're definitely going to be doing this, man. Look at that. With the survival match, you could also do the gruesome, which is that octagon ring. See? It says on there. You know? All my. You already know all my simulations are going to be, you know, with that and. Yeah, I'll just have it on random. Yeah, it's just a 64 for a reason. I think it's because of the graphics or whatever like that. That it does that. I just want all of them to be no time limit. Why do you need match on here? All that shit gonna be no time limit. I don't know who to put on here. Panther or something. I think the referee really matters, but that's what it is with all that. That's the main thing I like is that um tournament league. What? It's gonna Oh, so you can put this in a tournament or league. Okay. Let's do it random. Trying to find some MMA stuff. All right, so these, those are definitely MMA. I know that's my, I know who these five are. That's um Jun Akiyama. That's Kenta. That's Masawa. That's a. Uh, Karateyu, and that's, um, at the bottom, that's, um, um, K. Wilder, yeah. So there's only the one team for an MMA on here? Oh, wait a minute, that was an MMA team as well. So is this. And they actually call gruesome? Ah. So we're going to probably do like a little small simulation for that. But one thing I don't like about this is that, you know, yeah, I press save, you know, exit and save because like it won't actually like save it. Like you saw that I press, I press the save and leave thing and like it makes me go right back into it. So that's weird. You know, I can't save the game and go back on to where I last was on it at. And, you know, but like, you will be able to save it if I go like, let's say we do tournament. You see, it says new and load, so like, that should be possibly able to do that with that. So, let's just go in here and press gruesome and then evaluation on and then because I'm going to see what I can actually utilize on this game start it damn it Will be quicker to go this way. Yeah, it'll be quicker to go this way. So,
Alright, so let's see. Cause I don't know how to officiate or, you know, really like go about playing this game and stuff like that. So let me see. Oh, cool. So this got the slot stuff as well. Okay, so... I guess I could put that on 9 for that. But I want to see if the tournament stuff is still... Nope, tournament shit is not still on there. God damn it. Okay, so that's would be how I have to go about doing that. Son of a bitch. So we're going to be doing this soon with several different tournaments and I just realized I have to do a slot save with this game which is stupid. You know it's really dumb that I need to do that with this game. Wait, let me see something. Did I put it on 10? Yeah. God damn it, what? Shiny. Why did it take us so long to get back to the team that I was just looking at? Fuck. I should have went the other way. Guess I'll go this way. Hmm. No, I think I saw a team that said gruesome last time. Yeah. Might as well be those guys and. There we go. Now let's see what happens when I go here and I'm a you know what? I'm gonna click it for slot one. So in this game it's gonna be under slot one. You know. So we're gonna save it under slot one and then we're gonna save and quick because I gotta figure out what's gonna be the thing for the tournament, you know, for doing the damn tournament, because you saw, I try to press, you know, load as in the tournament and stuff like that, load tournament, and I guess I gotta have all 16 characters for it to do that, so we're on here, we're gonna go to load, the fuck? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This shit is not loading it? Why the fuck is it not loading it? I already sa I saved it. Let's go to options. Blah, 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 blah. Where is the shit? This is... Uh, wait, audio save settings, video settings, input settings, and ROMs. <sighs> Nothing useful in here about what the hell I want to actually do. It'd be, it'd be better if this was the version of this game for Super Nintendo, man. God, it'd be so much better if this is what you play with the Super Nintendo version. With these matches and stuff. But nope. It was probably made for like the 64 round when 64 and PlayStation and shit was out. That's when this game probably came out. You see that? I'm trying to load up what the fuck I had on here, and that's not 
working at all. So it's going to be tricky doing this. So I'll probably have to do more retirement in one video and shit like that. You know? Because can't X. Because I believe I can X out of the game. Like, see, we can go on here. Then I go back on here. At least the game will still be on there. But I'm not sure that's going to be all the time. It may do that only some of the time. Some bullshit. Damn. 64? A league? Oh. Yeah, but anyway, we're going to do a video and it's going to be with that. Wrestle against computer in the tournament. When IS approved by fighting in a special style match. Fuck that. Edit. Make an original. Let's see about that. Um. Um. Enable abilities. What? Oh. I mean, shit on here. So wait, let me see how many characters you got. One, two, three. That's five. Let's start the first. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and then the same thing is on the other side. There we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How do I just go to one particular one in my name? God damn it. No. I'm just trying to see right quick if this shit will save anything on here. God damn it, this shit is on 54 minutes now. Should have done this offline, but I'm trying to see what all I gotta do to try to. What all I could do, because like, we just try to do the. The audio save shit, and that did not work at all. Does anything on here save? You know? Let's see. 
Nope, nothing on here saves. So I ain't gonna be able to create no motherfucking body. This game allows how many creations? Look at that. Oh my god, I could create 73 people on here. This jackass game. Until I learn how to say shit on here, I ain't gonna be able to do nothing with that. Fuck this. And they got that. Oh, come on. Bullshit. Bullshit. You got what percentage of this and that you want. This game seems like it's pretty damn good, but like I can't do shit with it. It's not gonna save none of my damn progress or anything. No point of doing it. Try to save it on the slot nine and then quit. Let's see the damn, damn it, that's only Yeah, I'll figure it out eventually. Figure all this shit out eventually. I think what I may need to do with the game for be able to do that shit. Oh, it's not functioning. Damn. That's not good. It's malfunctioning now. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, once it's. Yeah. Alright, so. Basically, we got in this video, as you see, I don't got enough space on here. So that's probably what's happening with these apps. So to the next one later.